Semper Fi, everyone. I'm your host, United States Marine Corps veteran and living historian, Recon Jack. On today's episode, I will discuss the life of Roberto Enrique Clemente Walker, who played 18 seasons in the Major League Baseball for the Pittsburgh Pirates, as well as having served in the United States Marine Corps Reserve. Roberto Clemente was born in Barrio San Antonio, Carolina, Puerto Rico, as the youngest of seven children of Melcher Clemente and Louisa Walker. During Clemente's childhood, his father worked as a foreman for sugarcane crops located in the northeastern part of the island. Due to the family's resources being limited, Clemente and his brothers worked alongside their father in the fields, loading and unloading trucks. As a youth, Clemente was a track and field star and Olympic hopeful before deciding to turn his attention to baseball. Clemente had first shown interest in baseball early in life and often played against neighboring municipalities. During his first year in high school, he was recruited by Roberto Marin to play softball with the Celo Rojo team after he was seen playing baseball in San Antonio. He was with this team for two years as a shortstop before joining Puerto Rico's amateur league when he was 16 years old. Clemente's professional baseball career began at age 18 on 9 October 1952 when he signed a contract with the Crabbers, a winter league team and franchise of the Puerto Rican Professional Baseball League. After signing with the Brooklyn Dodgers on 19 February 1954, Clemente moved to Montreal, Quebec, Canada to play with the Royals. Effective early on by both climate and language differences, Clemente received assistance from bilingual teammates. Clemente's extra inning walk-off home run of 25 July 1954, the first home run of his North American baseball career, was hit in his first at-bat after entering the game as a defensive replacement. From this point forward, Clemente's playing time increased significantly and would complement his 25 July walk-off homer with another on 5 September, as well as a game-ending outfield assist on 18 August, his 20th birthday. As promised, the Pittsburgh Pirates made Clemente the first selection of the Roll 5 draft that took place on 22 November. Clemente debuted with the Pirates on 17 April 1955, wearing uniform number 13 in the first game of a doubleheader against the Brooklyn Dodgers. Early in his career with the Pirates, he was frustrated by racial and ethnic tensions with sniping by the local media and some teammates. Clemente responded to this by saying, I don't believe in color. He said that during his upbringing, he was taught never to discriminate against someone based on ethnicity. For all but the first seven weeks of Clemente's major league career, he wore number 21, so chosen because his full name of Roberto Clemente Walker had that many letters. After his death, this number was retired by the Pirates. The following season, on 25 July 1956, in Forbes Field, Clemente hit the only documented walk-off inside the park Grand Slam in modern major league baseball play. Pittsburgh Bay sports writer John Steigerwald said that it may have been done only once in the history of baseball. In September 1958, Clemente joined the United States Marine Corps Reserve. He served his six-month active duty commitment at Marine Corps Recruit Depot Paris Island in South Carolina, as well as Camp Lejeune in North Carolina and in Washington, D.C. At Paris Island, Clemente received recruit training with Platoon 346 of the 3rd Recruit Battalion. Clemente was still fulfilling his Marine Corps Reserve duty during spring of 1959, and he was not yet to be released from Camp Lejeune until 4 April. A Pennsylvania State Senator, John M. Walker, wrote to U.S. Senator Hugh Scott requesting an early release on 4 March so Clemente could join the team for spring training. Their rigorous Marine Corps training programs helped Clemente physically. He added strength by gaining 10 pounds and said his back troubles, caused by being in a 1954 auto accident, had disappeared. He was a private first class in the Marine Corps Reserve until September 1964. Clemente, a devout Catholic, married Vera Zabala on 14 November at San Fernando Church in Carolina, Puerto Rico. The couple had three children, Roberto Jr., born in 1965, Luis Roberto, born in 1966, and Roberto Enrique, born in 1969. Clemente spent much of his time during the off-season involved in charity work. When Nicaragua was affected by a massive earthquake on 23 December 1972, Clemente immediately set to work arranging emergency relief flights. Due to aid packages on the first three flights being diverted by corrupt officials of the Somoza government, he decided to accompany the fourth relief. Unfortunately, immediately after takeoff on 31 December, the Douglas DC-7 cargo plane crashed into the Atlantic Ocean off the coast of Isla Verde, Puerto Rico due to engine failure. 
On 20 March 1973, the Baseball Writers Association of America held a special election for the Baseball Hall of Fame. They voted to waive the waiting period for Clemente due to the circumstances of his death and posthumously elected him for induction into the Hall of Fame. He was inducted into the Marine Corps Sports Hall of Fame in 2003 and into the Puerto Rican Veterans Hall of Fame 15 years later. In 2022, honoring 50 years since his passing, the MLB proclaimed 15 September as Roberto Clemente Day. I hope you enjoyed today's episode of Recon Jack and perhaps you've learned something new. Stay tuned for more episodes as I continue to explore the hallowed history, traditions, and individuals of the United States Marine Corps. Please feel free to like this video, subscribe to my channel, click that notification bell, and leave a comment in the section below. I always enjoy interacting with you folks and seeing the growth of this channel. Also, don't hesitate to tell a friend or family member or email me directly to recon underscore jack at hotmail.com. Until next time, Semper Fi and carry on.